Hello and welcome back again. Okay, this is on this other video for on my third monitor. Now, as I say, I got a new video card. Okay, first I got the onboard video card. I'm not going to go back there because it's kind of hard to see. But anyway, on the bottom, it's the onboard ATI card. It's got a DVI in the back, and it also has a VGA. Well, I got the third monitor hooked to the VGA on the onboard card, which, you know, I had to go in BIOS and set it and pick ATI as I stated in the other video on how to set it back so now this one's not blank anymore it, it's working now it's detecting it as you can see I got all three monitors working okay the problem I'm having in Windows 7 is I don't know it might be Windows 7 or something I don't know but uh, Windows XP it worked fine uh, okay cuz I had my flight simulator 10 and then when it loads and goes to your plane you know your scenery and all that ready to fly it's just showing up on this screen this one here and this screen here is just blank but you can dry, uh, drag your like GPS and all that stuff from here over onto each one of your monitors <clears throat> excuse me but I can't seem to expand my wings you know the plane from all the way across for all three monitors you know what I'm saying It'll be like a window here if you're on the inside of the plane, your gauges dash, and all that. Everything's all expanded. So I'm going to show you and demonstrate what I'm talking about. We're just going to go pick something. Let me go to here, just somewhere it's on ground. All right, fly now. All right, as you can see, I'm going to go back a little. You'll see what it's doing. <clears throat> as you can see, so you used to on my other one, it, this would kind of be over here and here. But anyway, just kind of watch and I'll show you what this extra monitors two are doing. Alright, there you go. As you can see, let me zoom out a little. Uh, let me, sorry about the movement. <laughs> uh, okay. <clears throat> Get it all set. There we go. Alright, uh anyway as you can see now I can go up here I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's see instrument panel okay GPS okay now there's my GPS now I can do this here I can drag it and put it over on this screen I can drag it stick it on this screen or anything I want to over here on my gauges wise but for some reason it's not allowing me to make like all the wings should be way over here and over here but it's just showing everything on one screen I want to get it all completely totally across the whole screen anybody got any uh, uh, suggestions on how to do that in Windows 7 I would very very much appreciate it because it looks so much cooler when you have the whole effect you know with Flight Simulator 10 but yeah uh, if you have any suggestions on how I can go ahead and fix this problem please let me know as I stated I put a new uh, video card in here well it's not new but it's like new the NVIDIA GeForce uh, 8500 I believe and anyway so yeah oh and it's got the on board so remember this one's got the it's hooked to the VGA on board on the bottom of the com uh, computer and then these two are hooked to the new video card up you know to uh, VGA and DVI that's my DVI monitor these two monitors that one and that one's only VGA but this is the one that came with my Dell com I mean uh, Dell Jesus uh, my Hewlett Packard uh, computer and this is the P6000 I believe PW or P6 it's a 6000 model but anyway anybody got any suggestions please leave your comments or if possible do a uh, make a video on how to do it that would be a lot better like on hand so where I can see how to do it. Alright, thank you for watching and I hope somebody can be very helpful with this. Alright, thank you and uh, oh, and don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you for watching and bye bye.